guys, this is your girl Lucy Smash back at it again. And today I'm just giving y'all dry face. Um I don't have the lashes on, I don't have any makeup on. Um my face has been breaking out lately, you guys, so <sighs> it's been a whole roller coaster. As I said, you know, dealing with PCOS and everything that I got going on. Um <clears throat> It's getting better. It's getting better um, lately for my PCOS. Um, and it has helped with the extra bleeding that I've been having going on. A lot of you guys, I've told y'all about that in my PCOS video, the pseudo tumor cerebri and all that. I talked about that in that video. Um, so it did help to stop the excess bleeding. And the reason why I came to do this video was because... Um, I wanted to talk about stress, um, health, unemployment. Y'all know how I do. I give y'all a rundown of things. Um, I'm speaking on stress because lately, you know, a lot of people, you might, you might not, you know, I, I don't know your business. I don't know what you got going on. Um, but some people, you know, they believe in God. They believe in the spiritual realm. They don't necessarily... Uh, say God, they they say spirit, the universe, whatever case may be, whichever one you uh, refer to, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And so lately it has been um, heavy on me to really get into more of my spirituality, uh, more into my spiritual sense of looking at the big, ugh, I'm sorry, bigger picture of things, noticing how certain things are coming towards me, certain triggers are coming towards me, certain people keep trying to, especially during this retrograde, okay, this retrograde, uh, some some exes and all this and that want to come and chit chat and think that everything is cool, no, no, we're not finna do that, I'm not going back down that road, I'm not finna go back down having that stress, having that energy on me, I've changed, I'm growing up, and I don't want to deal with those same things anymore, so, by all that being said, health-wise, the reason why I say health, because, um, as you guys know, I talked about not having insurance, uh, trying to get the gold card and everything, you know, depending on what, whatever your income bracket is, knowing how gold cards work and everything like that, it's a hard struggle to even get that. So I tried to get my gold card, but because I was working for that this company for maybe like eight hours, I didn't even go fully with the work at home job because the software didn't work for my computer. So trying to get the gold card, it didn't work because it was like, oh, well, you got to contact that company. And I'm like, I don't have that company's information. Like, how would I contact that damn company? Like, what the fuck? So that was the situation. So by that being said, I'm, I'm bringing all that to y'all follow. Everything's flowing together. So I'm bringing it to unemployment. So the reason why I say health is because I am back working again. Yes, for the same company, Sykes, that I told you guys about before. A company that is very much so or unorganized in a sense. But if you need a job, if you um, want a job that is going to be quick about sending you equipment, they, they are good about sending equipment. Um, if you have a space or environment where you can work from home, depending on which job you work for, the pay might be at least, I would say from around $10 to $13. It could be more depending on which position you apply for. But my bracket of what I'm doing is 12 to 13 dollars an hour so by that being said um you guys know that I I am still receiving my unemployment um you guys know y'all follow my videos y'all see how everything went with unemployment how uh, it's been helpful for a lot of people I appreciate everyone that has been commenting and uh, telling me their their journey their story about everything that's got going on and I'm grateful that I have the chance to have this platform to put these videos out because a lot of people, and this goes back to the stress subject that I was speaking of, a lot of people don't realize that because of this whole pandemic that happened, plandemic, let me say it right, plandemic that happened, it has cut a lot of people off on doing the general things that they was doing on an everyday basis. They was going to work, they was going out the house, they knew their kids was going to school, everything was good, they was going to pick up their kids, you know, they was coming to get them from daycare. They had their whole life set up on 
the sense of that's what they had to do. Not everybody's life was like that. So because this pandemic happened, it stopped a lot of people from working. It stopped a lot of people's hustles of movements, of getting money, staying stable, paying their light bill. So I'm never going to sit here down somebody that is receiving unemployment, receiving disability, receiving whatever income that you can have, food stamps, whatever the case may be, that you can have to sustain your family. The reason why I say that is because somebody tried to come at me and basically try to make it seem like, oh, you living off government, uh, you still stay with your mom, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Let me tell you something. I just made a post on my Instagram. A lot of people don't know about it. I just made a post on my Instagram that's basically saying, fuck whoever got anything to say about me or my mama. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you say because you trying to dim my light. You trying to bring negative. You trying to bring negative energy towards me when you're projecting whatever feelings you have towards me and trying to make me feel bad of what I got going on. In retrospect, whatever kind of income I'm getting is any of your business. Number one, number two. I'm helping people when I talk about my unemployment situation. I never like being on government assistance. Let me tell y'all something. Back in, what was that? I can't remember what it was, but we had got a housing voucher. Everybody knows, or if you don't know, a housing voucher is basically where you can um, get an apartment, housing, whatever case may be, on this voucher that the housing authority is basically going to pay for it every month to cover your rent. So all you got to do is cover your light bill, whatever case may be. When I tell y'all that I had that, we had that housing voucher for a while, we went out searching, okay? The reason why we also had that housing voucher because a lot of people don't know, but where I stay right now, my house got robbed, my mom's car got vandalized about three or four times. Like, it was a lot of shit going on. So a lot of people don't know my backstory. So for a lot of people to come at me saying certain commentary, it's like, dude, live in my shoes for a little while so you could, you probably still gonna talk shit, but you probably won't judge as much as if you went through the shit do what I went through in my past. A lot of people went through some similar shit that I went through. A lot of people went through more shit, but I'm just saying, you coming at me because you know me or you think you know me, but you don't know my struggle and what I went through. So how are you to judge me when you can be going through that same goddamn thing? Hello? Okay. So we went out every single day almost trying to find an apartment, nice apartments too, like nice apartments that we want to live in this community. We want to go to this community. When I tell y'all that voucher was either $10 off, a dollar off, like it was the littlest amount off to be able to get into these apartments. The voucher didn't go through. We basically lost the voucher. You know why I'm thankful that I lost that voucher? Because I don't want any government assistance tying themselves to me to make me feel like I gotta be under your circumstances, your terms and conditions for me to live my life. So I'm never one of those type of people that want to live on government assistance, whether it's unemployment, motherfucking food stamps. If I'm working, if I got a job, then why not pay for my food? Because guess what? That's what food stamps going to tell you anyway, you know what I'm saying? So for people to come at me in certain ways, it's like, this is why I go back to the spiritual sense. Because I have been tapping into my spirituality more lately, like, I have... A whole new mindset like my my mindset is really levitating to a point where I want it to be and it's like this th because like I said you guys I refer to this all the time because I have PCOS it does affect my mood it does affect my hormones my face is breaking out that's why I say I don't have no makeup on right now uh, my on the lashes on my face is breaking out like dark spots there's been a lot going on and um, you know by you tapping into your spiritual sense and everything that's, that has to do with you, because I've been tapping into it, my vibration has been higher. I've been looking at myself differently. Like, I want my body to change. I want my body to be in a certain way that I am grateful that I can walk. I'm grateful that I can see. I'm grateful that I have feeling in my hands that I can move. I can hear. I'm grateful for my whole life. So you're not finna come and project what you're feeling or whatever you think that you see and try to judge me for what I got going on. So, by that being said, I'm going to go back to unemployment. 
because I am working now, and like I said, the job that I do have is like twelve or thirteen dollars an hour. Um, they they are basically cutting off my unemployment in a sense because of how much money I'm getting for my job. Am I mad about that? Not necessarily because let me tell you something. This gonna come a little quick. Well, technically, it's about the same amount of time for it to come. So, a lot of people that has been commenting on the videos about unemployment and basically there's been a lot of people with like appeals and how everything is going on. Like I said, I am grateful for doing those videos because a lot of people, whenever you search on YouTube, you're not going to find anything about unemployment that's informative. You're not going to find about somebody's actually talking about like, well, how does appeals go? How an appeal officer can have an attitude towards you and you don't know where it's coming from. You, This might be your first situation, so you don't necessarily know how the employer might try to come at you and then you like, well, wait a minute, this is not how it happened. And then TWC like, oh yeah, that's how it happened. We finna deny you. <laughs> no money for you. Like, this is not a just a general thing where unemployment was like, oh, because you don't have a job. No. Because of this pandemic has created this for everybody. For now, a lot of people is on unemployment. So you need your money. You need to get in contact with them. Another thing, guys, if you are having issues getting in contact with unemployment, there's an email that I'm going to put right here. Email this link, and I'm also having it in the description box. Email this uh, email address. And somebody will either return your phone call, they'll send a message to say, hey, what is your information? Okay, we're definitely going to get your phone call. Because I've noticed that every time, just like I said, speaking of the whole job situation, because I did my unemployment claim and I put it on there that I have a job now, they said, okay, well, contact us by February 12th to see if you're still eligible for your benefits. I contact them and... The phone number was like, oh, due to, due to COVID-19, nobody can answer your call. So I'm like, okay, how long are y'all going to keep this up? Like, So the, the quickest thing that I know how to do, sometimes I don't be want to talk on the phone because I know how flustered I can get. I know sometimes that I can get stuck because I'm so mad about the bullshit that you're talking about. And it's not a situation where you can easily just hang up and call again and you're going to get somebody else that's going to know what you're talking about. No, it's going to be that same person. In a sense, like an appeal process and everything like that. So I'm always quick to send an email. We we didn't go to school and, and go through all them goddamn English classes, doing all them essays, learn how to write a paragraph, punctuation and all that. We didn't do that for no reason, okay? I show in the hell and do motherfucking 12 years of slaving in school for nothing, okay? Something's some going to be uh, useful in this goddamn world. So I'm quick to send an email. I know how to... Break it down in paragraphs so I know where you read. I know what points to point out. Bulletins, all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm very good at that. So, I have been sending emails galore. So, if any of you are having issues with getting in contact with an appeal officer, whatever case may be, they say your appeal is held up, send an email to Ombudsman. What you want to do is you want to put your name, you want to put your um, date of birth, and you also want to just put the last four of your social because they're going to reply and say, what is that information? And, okay, well, we'll get in contact with you. So if you already put all that information in the beginning of your letterhead and then write what the issue is that you're still waiting, you still haven't gotten a call back or anything like that, somebody will respond to your email. <sighs> last but not least, you guys, I just want to address this. Somebody, <laughs> and it's funny because I'm not that type of person. I, I don't. I address shit off camera, okay? I, I, I don't I don't want to keep bringing these people to life because that's the type of shit that, that they like. They, they like negative energy. They like to be brought up. They like to be talked about. But I just got to say this. So, if you guys don't know, um, or something that you do that I'll subscribe, and thank you for uh, getting me up to 100 subscribers, you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, somebody just commented on my channel today on my Triple on Main video. And they basically said that my presentation um, should have been better. I should have used all fresh stuff, blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And I was really contemplating, oh, should I bring this up in my video? Because I'm really not trying to, I'm really not trying to give that person that energy. But I just got to say something. One thing about me, y'all don't know me on the outside world. Some do, some don't. 
you don't know how my mindset is. I am very big on presentation, okay? Whenever I get my food or whatever the case may be, I am big on presentation. I wanted to, and I still do, I want to become a party planner because I'm big on presentation. Um, as far as, like, I like containers. I know it's weird. Like, you know how they have, like, uh, what's that show called? Um, my weird, whatever that show is called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I am attracted to, well, not, hold on. <laughs> now, let me take that back. I like containers, okay? I love containers because I can see what the food presentation is in the container, not just because I'm fat, you know what I'm saying? It's not because of that. But I'm very big on presentation. And in that particular video, when I was actually recording it to show, like, you guys, okay, you know, here is um, Shrimp and Main, and this is how, you know, I make it. When I first did the video, I was looking, and I was like, I should have scraped, like, you know, the pot just to make the presentation a little bit, you know. But it's just because I had just poured the stuff in there, and I easily wanted to make a, a, a snapshot of it real quick to show, like, this is what the presentation going to be when you make it. So this is, you know, this is what the video is coming to. Or this is what the video is going to be about. So the fact that she said that, like, oh, it should have been all fresh, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. It's like... Do you so so you mean tell me that you got shrimp in your backyard? You you stay by a sea, so you so you going to the Gulf and, and, and getting all your shrimp fresh. You you got a chicken coop back there, so you can always skin the chicken, pluck the chicken, you, you get fresh eggs, like all your shit is fresh. It kills me how people will come on your channel. Or any social media platform. And they love to just project their negative energy. When if you had a video, if you had a channel, and you made videos, what they don't realize is what you giving out to me, you going to get that shit times three back. Like, why do you do that? Why do you feel like you need to come on my channel and make commentary? You need to come on my Instagram and be in my messages? Whatever the case may be, like, what is wrong with you? If something is wrong with y'all, guess what? I don't never be commenting. I don't never be saying that. I be saying, I, I just be looking at it like, what the fuck? Like, did you see this? Like, but I'm not finna comment. I'm not finna dislike. I'm not finna do that that. Because if I find something interesting or I find something educational within the video, then I'm be like, hey, this is very helpful. I'm glad that you said this because I'm going through the same thing. I want to keep promoting positivity. Now, sometimes... Motherfuckers want to try you and want you to come down to that low level. But guess what? Not all the time I feel like doing it. Because I'm an in general happy person. I'm goofy. I'm funny. And a lot of people got an issue with that. But guess what? Fuck you and, and, and whoever don't like it. <laughs> Period. Okay? So, you guys, I don't want to rant no more. But I just want to come and bring you that information. So, you guys, like I said, if you are still having issues with unemployment, keep commenting, you know, keep talking to me. I'm very quick to reply if you send me a message on Instagram or, you know, whatever platform that you need to, you know, speak to me about whatever case may, may be or about the situation. I'm all ears. I'm always ready to listen and hear what you guys have to say, and I will be responding as quick as I can. Uh, but in general, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said... I've been going through with my face, y'all. So, excuse me. You know, I'm giving y'all all natural face, ponytail, hair tie, uh, chilling with no makeup on type bullshit. And uh, <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye.